Mystery Meat Season 3 is here. Same format as always. I don't know what the meat is. I got to cook it. Difference is we actually have the Halteman guys along this time, and they're going to be telling you more about each cut and also helping me try the finished creation. Hope you enjoy. All right, folks, welcome to another episode. We got Mike from Halteman here, and we're about to dive into whatever he's going to surprise us with today. All right, let's get to it. I think you'll love the love this product. This is going to go great on the fire pit. Sound like you said these, so there's probably more than one. <laughs> I messed up there. <laughs> um, it seems. I don't know. I don't. I'm not even going to guess. It it's squishy. Just say that. <laughs> Take the twine off here. Oh, there we go. This is a first for the show. We got ourselves some burgers that are stuffed with, I'm gonna say cheddar, but I don't know exactly what cheese that is. What, yeah, what cheese? Cheddar. cheddar. And then they also have uh, bacon in there. Oh, really? Yes. So the bacon's ground in. Oh, you can see the flecks of fat in there, sure enough. Yep. So, so the what bacon's we use ground in with it. Bacon bits. We use bacon bits and cheddar yeah. cheese. And that's a uh, high temp cheddar cheese in there, so it doesn't uh, drip out as quick okay. uh, over the fire. Sure. So we call those our bacon cheddar burger. Okay. Um, they're very, <laughs> yeah, they're very popular. We put some uh, brisket fat in there. Okay. So we think the brisket fat is, it helps keep it moist when you're cooking. Right. And uh, gives it a good consistency. Sure. And then we also pat them into uh, eight ounce patties. So that's an eight ounce patty there. Gotcha. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna um, go either side with a little Montreal steak seasoning. And um, just real simple, not tons because of all we got going on inside the burger, I wanna make sure that that is allowed its chance to shine through. And then we'll go right on the grill, pretty high heat, and we'll try to pull them off about a medium uh, internal, let them rest just a little bit, and then uh, see how they taste. Sounds good. What other types of burgers do you guys make at Haltman other than the cheddar bacon? So we use basically the same meat mixture okay. and we do about six different flavors. So what are those flavors? Uh, we have one with jalapenos, onions, and then a hot pepper jack cheese. All in the same burger? All in the same burger. Uh, we do a turkey one which has spinach and feta in it. Okay. Uh, there's a mushroom, portobello mushrooms and smoked gouda. So you grind up the mushrooms and put them in? We chop them up, chop yeah, them up. dice them up, yep. And then uh, put them in mix it together with the gouda cheese right there's a tomato basil okay. with sharp provolone cheese and then we have we just started doing one lately that's uh filet mignon burger those are very good and so, probably kind of expensive <laughs> a little <laughs> um and then we have just your regular chuck just, patties just chuck too patties there, yes yeah. cool All right, let's pull these burgers off. Looks like we got the cheese melted nicely into the burgers. So we got our cheddar bacon burgers pulled off. You could definitely see the cheddar was melting in as they were cooking, which is awesome. Um, we let, let them rest just a little bit. Obviously, you don't need to let a burger rest quite as long as you would a thick steak, so maybe five minutes or so. And uh, I'm gonna cut into one, we'll see what kind of color we ended up with, um, and then we'll give it a taste test. So you can see all the juice running out of there at about a medium well, um, and part of that is gonna be the bacon and also the cheddar that's adding that moisture. And then the fat that they used being uh, brisket fat helped it tighten up and kind of keep it all contained while it was cooking over the, over the flame. So I'm gonna cut one of the sections and we'll give it a taste test. All right, sounds good. Might be a little warm, yeah. Mmm, that cheddar really comes out. Yeah, it does. I That's like the, more than I was expecting. I like cheddar. the um, the char that the wood gives it, gives it that extra flavor. That's really, really good. If you had like two of those, with like a brioche bun, and like it would be a real feast. Put some onions on there, yeah. I'm actually surprised how much you taste the cheddar in that. But I guess cheddar is it had cheese that definitely has some flavor to it. And you have a lot in there, so as it kind of melts, it kind of 
adds flavor to the whole thing. Yeah, and as you can see there on the side, if you look at it, if you use regular cheddar in there, that'll all be kind of oozing away. But the high temp cheddar there, it kind of keeps its form and it, it doesn't just all melt away out of the burger. Right, so the high temp ch cheddar stays, keeps its form without just all disappearing. Because yes. especially with a high heat, a regular cheese or cheddar would just start to drain into the fire. That's correct. And we had a little bit of that on the grill, which you always have that, um, but it'll be a lot more without the high temp. Alrighty.